our MC in his own right, Shad. Couldn't think of a more perfect person Thank to be you. here to talk about this. Thank you. So, congratulations. It's Thank incredible. You. It was an incredible experience. Very surreal. Um, yeah, just continuously surreal. And it, it takes us, well, it starts, you know, where the whole thing started, which was August 11th, 1973, mm -hmm. in a specific address. How did you pinpoint it down to that one party happening at that one spot yeah. that one night? So we had a great team kind of doing the history of this, and that's kind of the accepted birthplace of hip-hop. Of course, history is like kind of more fluid and culture is more fluid, but that is the accepted birthplace of hip-hop. The first kind of hip-hop party was thrown there by the man that I was kind of in that scene with, you know, he took us back to that actual place. He threw a party, birthday party, uh, for his sister and was playing certain records and in a, in a certain kind of way that evolved to what we now call hip hop. So it was really amazing to go to that place with him and he could point to the actual room. The address where he threw was, this do you remember party. what it was? It was 1520 Cedric Avenue. Cedric Avenue in the Bronx. So, you know, got to go to the ground floor with the man himself. The, it was the cool heart. Pioneer, cool heart. And yeah. then there was Africa Bombada, and mm -hmm. then there was also Grandmaster Flash yeah. showing you what the break was. And the break is what really formed hip hop. What is the break? Exactly. So it's difficult to imagine now because the music has evolved so much. But there was a time when you were just supposed to play a record and not touch it, you know, not scratch it, not manipulate it with your hands. And this was an inventive 13 year old kid who figured out that actually, if I want to replay the part of the song that I like, what I have to do is get two records, two copies of the same record, and then I can sort of loop one manually while the other one plays. And then when that part that I like is done, I can go back to the other record and loop this one. So he was inventing all of this stuff just as a, as a preteen and a, and a, teen, a young teenager, um, figuring out not just the musically what to do, but also you know, technologically mm. what to do. It, he was a very it, savvy teenager, both creatively and, you know, on the tech side. It really was an inventive way on both sides of it, right? You mm -hmm. really had to understand the music and you had to understand the technical part of it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, hip-hop itself, I think, does a terrible job in... Um, in memorizing, in, sorry, in, in paying homage to where it came from, right? You know, you'll hear samples later on. You'll hear Diddy sampling Grandmaster Flash, mm -hmm. uh, but there isn't a lot of, you know, I have up to the roof. Yeah, exactly. And, mm -hmm. and so this is kind of the first time we've seen this. What was it that inspired you to kind of take on this project in the first place? Uh, the director, Darby Wheeler, and the writer, Rodrigo Baskunin, I know both of them from their previous work. And so they called me in for a meeting and asked me if I could if I was interested in hosting. And I knew their pedigree, I knew how much they loved hip hop and how much they knew about hip hop. Mm. And then uh, I said, I can't turn this down because they're gonna do it and they're gonna do it right. And, and you're absolutely right, in terms of film, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit biased, but I actually think this is the best document on film as far as the, the origins of hip hop. There's some great books out there, um, but this is a great document in terms of on film and actually speaking to the people that you know, pioneered this culture. Well, and things like, you know, um, sources were radio DJs and how mm -hmm. their cadence was very slow at the time to speak over uh, gospel yes. uh, groups and how they spoke over lyrics, right? Mm -hmm. It's so interesting to see where it all began and then how it involves into gangster rap. And then you have the New York side versus the flavors that were coming out of the L.A. side mm -hmm. who were living life by the water and enjoying the good life. And then, of course, you know, it changes with the times mm -hmm. as we change. So where do you see this evolving now? Because I feel like it's in yet another wave of almost what people are calling emo rap totally. by virtue of The Weeknd and Drake, mm -hmm. Canada's own. Totally. I think what's fascinating to me about those early days is the way that you can actually track it a lot more clearly because we don't, they didn't have the internet back then. Now culture, it just spreads so fast and moves in so many different directions. Yeah. Whereas back then, you could actually follow it out of the Bronx into the other boroughs. You could follow it over to, uh, to the West Coast and where it picks up those distinctly West Coast influences now um, yeah geographical influences it's just not the same sort of yeah. thing you know um, so I could see the culture evolving in any number of ways but actually just so fast and in a way that's very difficult to track so um, I don't know where it's going next it's Crazy. really because some kid on the internet could hear hip, you know hip-hop yeah. on the other side of the world and completely innovate and uh, and inspire somebody and that could happen in 24 hours whereas before the culture took time to move and you could actually track its movement right. through people right and you do a really brilliant job yeah. at taking us along that journey so make sure you guys catch up on it it's called hip hop evolution air sundays at nine on hbo or catch all the past episodes to get caught up on rogers on demand shed good to see you good so to see good. you too it's yeah. so good it's thank awesome. you congrats right now we're gonna take a quick break a real break not a brick a brick a break <laughs> 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 we've got more coming up after this.